Now the primary building blocks of a of this skeletal structure of a coral is calcium and carbonate. And calcium and carbonate is bonded by magnesium. So as far as your reef aquarium is concerned, calcium, carbonate and magnesium will be constantly getting used by your corals and they use the calcium, the carbonate and the magnesium to form the solid structure of the coral. So if you don't have many corals in your aquarium and you're doing regular water changes, the supplementation of this is not terribly important. As you get more and more corals and as your water changes become less common, the supplementation of these elements is extremely important and will govern the success of your corals. So we want to keep a calcium level of around 450, a um, carbonate level of around 10 and a magnesium level of around 1300 and that needs to be maintained by regular additions of these particular elements. Now if you have lots of corals and these elements are getting pulled out all the time it's really advisable to put these elements on a dosing pump because you will be able to balance how hungry your aquarium is. What I mean by that is if you've got lots of corals and they are sucking all the calcium and carbonate out of the water then this ad addition will have to be extremely regular. If your tank's not as hungry, you don't have as many corals and they're not sucking out as much, then weekly additions may be fine. So just as these ones build the coral, nitrate and phosphate destroy the corals. So these are, these are coral builders, these are coral destroyers. So our plan is to get the nitrate and phosphate down as low as possible. So if we put these products on a dosing pump, this is a carbon based and then that drops phosphate out of solution, then these ones will help stop algae growth, actually quite remarkably, and this one will help ensure coral growth. So these ones high, these ones low for corals, these ones high, these ones lower for algae. So some other elements you may consider is iron. You don't really need to supplement your aquarium with iron, but people do believe that it helps to bring out the greens in their corals. So that's in the optional section. And it also helps to aid any advanced algae that you might have in the aquarium. Another one is iodine. This isn't totally necessary either, but iodine helps to increase um, immune system and suppress bacterial infection within coral. So I really do recommend using it. Strontium. Most people don't worry about strontium, but if you do have small polyp stony corals like an Acropora tank, then strontium is a reef builder. So therefore, um, it's a great thing to add, but I'm not gonna say you absolutely have to. And then potassium is definitely optional, but what potassium is believed to do is not only aid immune system, but bring out the beautiful reds in your corals. So a lot of these elements will affect the colors of your corals. And all of this is assuming that you have enough water flow in your aquarium and you have enough light in your aquarium and you have enough nutrients. Nutrients, whether it be nutrients from fish food or whether it be nutrients from actually spot feeding your fish. So spot feeding your corals, sorry. So the corals need a nutrient-based food, the corals need light, depending on the species, and the corals need um, particular water parameters that allow your corals to build and don't destroy them. So this is the ultimate aquacare range of products, which are about the most pure on the market, but obviously there's lots of other very good brands that you could select as well.